There are 86,400 seconds in a day, and every second you waste, you're robbing yourself of greatness. My name is Mark Cassara, and welcome to my channel. Guys, we're going to talk about saving your time and making the most of it and how to gain back some of the time that you've wasted. Guys, there's 86,400 seconds in a day. What does that mean when you think about that? Think if somebody gave you $86,000 and they said, you have to use every penny of this, but you only have 24 hours to do it. And at the end of 24 hours, all of that money is going to be taken away from you and it's not going to be replaced. What would you do with that money? Would you go frivolously wasting it at Walmart or Home Depot or Best Buy? Where would you spend that money? Would you spend it on things that are meaningless or would you spend it on things that are going to add value to your life, that are important to you? Guys, treat every second of the day like it is money, like it's a monetary value so that you spend every second creating greatness in your life. Because guys, so many times, we sit there for hours sometimes, not gonna lie. We've all been in the death scroll trap where at the end of the day, you're, you're, you're just winding down and you're on Facebook or you're on TikTok or you're on Instagram and you're just scrolling and you're scrolling and you see something that interests you and then you go down the rabbit hole and you're looking at pictures of cats for the next two hours, right? Or you're looking at fail or, or a fail army or, or uh, some type of extreme racing or extreme sports and you get sucked into it. Guys, just imagine Imagine in that period of time, let's say you had two hours, two hours is 7,200 seconds. Imagine you had $7,200 at that moment. You're winding down for the night. And I said to you, Mark, you have to use this $7,200 right now. You have to use it in the next two hours. What are you going to do with it? Are you going to just stick it in your pocket and just waste it away? Because at the end of those two hours, that money goes away. You don't have that money anymore. Every second is like a dollar. Every second is like a dollar and you need to treat your life that way. I'll give you some practical ways to gain back some time that you've lost or you've fallen into this pattern of losing time throughout the day. Number one, when you get up in the morning, keep your phone off. Keep it in a separate room. Make sure you do not open your phone and start scrolling through your emails, scrolling through your text messages, looking at your massive amounts of notifications that came through at three o'clock in the morning. I don't know why people get notifications at that time, but we all do. Whether it's an app or whether it's a calendar or whether it's a to-do list, something's gonna always, uh, uh, something's gonna always fight for our time. But you know what? We need to fight for our own time. So get up in the morning. First thing you do is do not look at your phone. Go grab a glass of water, drink water, make your coffee, go take a shower, brush your teeth, spend a little bit of time on yourself. That first few, those first few moments in the morning are the most crucial moments of your entire day. They're going to set the pace for the rest of your day. Have you ever had a day where you get up and you stub your toe and that kind of throws you into this chaotic momentum moving forward, the rest of your day just seems like crap. Just seems like you just are, everything's going wrong for you. Have you ever had a day where you got up and you just felt good? You felt strong. You felt motivated. You made your bed. You put your clothes away. You got dressed. You put your shoes on. You're at work and you're taking charge of your day. And for the rest of the day, you feel good. Well, guys, the moment you get up, really determines the rest of the day. How you start is going to determine how you finish. So we already got number one, guys. Don't go on your phone. Don't scroll. Get up, spend time on you first. And guys, then throughout the day, consider keeping your phone on silent, keeping it on do not disturb. Maybe turn off your notifications. I would highly encourage you to go through your phone and do an audit. What apps can you delete? What apps are unnecessary for your daily life? Are there apps that you can access on your computer at certain points throughout the day? Or do you need everything to be on your phone? I know there was a point in my life where I deleted all social media apps from my phone because it was just a distraction. I was getting distracted. I would jump from app to app to app to app, looking at notifications, looking at likes. Now, I have a large following. I got probably close to 2 million followers across three different platforms. Sometimes I feel obligated to go and respond to people and engage with people and check my notifications and check my likes. But I also realized that that's stealing my time. 
Now, whether you're a huge influencer or you're a baby influencer or you're somebody that's just starting out in the game of trying to build your brand, guys, sometimes it's okay to just leave the comments for later, leave the engagement for later, maybe set up an hour of power. An hour of power can be anything that you just focus. You do you do focused work for an hour. It could be checking your messages. It could be che- responding to emails. It could be checking your notifications. It could be responding to your comments on your social media. It could be something about social media. But create time block throughout your day, time block moments where you can dedicate to that instead of just being on demand. One of the biggest problems I see in my own life, and I also see it in a lot of my friends that are entrepreneurs, is we're always on demand. Everything is clawing for our attention. Everything wants our attention. We get a buzz, and then we immediately look at we immediately look at our, look at our phone, and we want to go check it. If we're in a conversation. Oh, the worst is when you have an Apple Watch. Sometimes I leave my Apple Watch at home. I don't ever want to put it on because the moment your your wrist buzz, you're constantly looking down on it. It's grabbing for your attention. Those one, two, three seconds compounded, add up throughout the day, can turn into minutes or even hours of time wasted. So consider putting your phone on do not disturb, consider putting it on silent, consider doing an audit of your phone and maybe deleting some apps and getting rid of it. There's been times where I've wanted to just throw my phone out and just get a an old flip phone, guys. I come from the days of the flip phone. Before there was an iPhone, before there was FaceTime, before there was a touch screen, I had a flip phone. And before that, I had a Nextel. Nobody knows what Nextel is. If you know what a Nextel is, give me a bleep bleep in the comments because we had Nextels. And it was a phone where you could press it like a walkie-talkie and it would go bleep bleep. And we used to we used to walkie-talkie to people in our class, in, in other classrooms in school, and it was the worst. We used to get in a lot of trouble. So before there was FaceTime, before there was massive amounts of notifications, there was just a cell phone that would make calls and maybe send out a few texts. But you got charged for those texts, and you got charged for every second and every minute you were on that phone. So maybe that was a blessing in disguise, right? Because we didn't spend hours and hours and hours texting and calling people. We were limited because we didn't want to we didn't want to create a massive bill and then create a massive headache. Now everything's free. You got Wi-Fi that's free, you got notifications that's free, you got calling that's free, you got text messages that's free, but it claws for our time and it tries to steal from us. So you got to you got to understand this. Everything around you is clawing for your time. It's fighting for your time. Sometimes we're not fighting for our own time. So we have to revisit and and review our entire life and say, what are the areas that I can stop, that I can cut off, that I can shave, that I can put away, that I can separate so that I can take back my time and invest it properly in the right way. I know personally in my life, there's times when I'm scrolling and I look back and I'm like, that 45 minutes right there, I could have read a book. I could have educated myself. I could have done something to improve my uh, my my financial literacy. To I could have done something to improve my self development. And sometimes I feel bad and I feel guilty. But at the end of the day, you can't feel guilty, guys. You got to just keep pushing on, keep moving forward, keep moving that needle forward, and just realize that it's a learning experience. Look back at your life. Don't get ashamed or feel guilty about it. Just say, man, I could have used that time properly, but. Moving forward, I'm definitely going to use that time in the right way. Sometimes doing a brain dump helps you organize and structure your life so that all these other things don't distract you. What is a brain dump? A brain dump is when you get out a piece of paper, if you want to use your phone, you can use your phone, but again, you're going to get notifications, you're going to get buzzes, you're going to get distracted, so maybe put your phone away and go old school. Go old school with me. Grab a notebook, grab a pen or piece of paper and do a brain dump. All these different things that are going inside your mind, circling, that you're motoring on, that are looping inside your mind, that you know you need to do. Maybe do a brain dump first thing in the morning and then a brain dump last thing at night before you hit the sack and hit that pillow. Write everything down. You're just You're throwing up on the piece of paper. And then you can take a moment to organize things in order of priority. And then obviously you go and you knock out the things that are most priority and the things that you don't get to, you go ahead and move on to that brain dump or that, you know, that notepad for the following day. So that's something that you can also do as well that may help you reclaim some of that lost time. Let me know in the comments what you think. Give me some dialogue down there. Give me a bleep bleep. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Let's start, let's start to dialogue a little 
little bit, but this was weighing heavy on my heart. Let's use those 86,400 minutes like they're a dollar. And at the end of that 24 hours, those dollars are going to go away. So use that time wisely. With that being said, make sure you live well, laugh loud, and learn to be a better you. Do all the YouTube things and be blessed. We'll see you in the next one. God bless.